example 7.23 this is a solved example from your textbook and this question never ask in the exam the reason is it's little lengthy it have little multiple things that the boundary is not given straight forward instead we are given the four vertices of a parallelogram so it is given like we have a parallelogram whose four vertices were given so uh, the question becomes little lengthy here uh, for example the first step as uh, 165 said uh, from these vertices we should find out the equation of that straight line so uh, whenever we transform the double integral the, here is a transformation given u is equal to x plus y and v is equal to x minus 2y so whenever we transform the double integral uh, we always require the region in a uv domain and not in xy so let me go step by step here so right now we are given u is x plus y and v is x minus 2y so first of all uh, let us ask 145 145 yes sir yes sir uh, uh, which jacobian value we have to calculate it here so i have just now joined so okay just, just joined one so you don't know it is a from morning session only we discuss all oh. these things sir jacobian value so u equals to x equals to okay. uh, y minus u not, and not correct not oh. correct Okay, 165. Yes, sir. Tell me what should be uh, the dx dy value? Sir, according to me, sir, I have first formed oh, that. that. Hmm? So I have formed that x is equal to. So I am asking a question about uh, dx dy. First of all, we have to transform, so we require the value of dx dy. So what is the formula for that? The formula is delta uh, delta x by delta u. No, dx dy. Is a Jacobian of Jacobian x comma y upon u comma v. This one, oh, sorry, sir, I was not. Sorry, yes, sir. Okay, so this is a formula that we use to get the value of a dx dy in terms of a du dv. That is a step number one. So yes, whenever we have to calculate this Jacobian of x y with u v, x and y should be function of u v. Remember, yes, you can calculate reverse Jacobian also, and there is one property I will tell you. That is Jacobian of xy with uv into Jacobian of uv with xy is always 1. Okay. So, let me calculate uh, the reverse. Uh, now, I will say j dash. j dash is, uh, sorry, just a minute. This is the Jacobian. Uh, this is j dash is a Jacobian of uv with xy. Why I am taking uv with xy? Because u and v are given in terms of xy. That's better to calculate. Is sir. it? Sir, I have a doubt. Yes. Sir, can we solve uv uh, simultaneously so we can get x in terms of u and y? Yes, yes, yes that sir. is also correct. Yes, sir, then, then that time you can calculate this Jacobian. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. There are two ways. Uh, solve these two equations simultaneously. Find the value of x and y in terms of uv and find j only. But instead yes, of sir. calculating j, I am going little simple way. I calculate j dash. What is a j dash now? j dash is a reverse Jacobian which says do u by do x do u by do y do v by do x and do v by do y so this is a j dash uh, jacobian so let i ask now uh, 141 141 yes sir uh, tell me do u by do x sir i did in the opposite way okay whatever but you have the equation in front of you why you are saying me you have done opposite way Okay, I am asking you, we have equation, I want this partial derivative. Uh, okay, okay, sir. Hmm. Uh, okay, the one, sir. Yes, correct. Very good. Uh, do u by do y? Uh, sir, so one. Do v by do x? So minus two. Minus two, sir. Uh, sorry, one. Uh, one, one. Minus this is two. minus. So you will observe, now if you cross multiply this, this becomes minus two, minus one. So minus three, you what? So, if j dash is a minus 3, what should be j? Because there is a property, I will say, as 1 by minus j into one j minus dash one is a 1. So, this is always 1. Remember, j into j dash is always 1. This gives us the value of required Jacobian is 1 upon j dash, that is a minus 1 by 3. And those who calculated, I think, j, they know this value of what as a minus 1 by 3, is it? Sir, I found it, but you said it was wrong. But whether you got the same answer? 
Yes, sir, it is is equal to minus one by three. Okay. Sir, I I read it in the chat and you said it was zero. Yes, both. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Excuse me, sir. So yes, why, why are we taking j dash and not just j? Because it is calculation of j dash is simple because u and v are available in terms of x y. So calculation of these derivatives is simple in this oh, case. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, I got so it. So that's the reason which function we are given that is important. Suppose we are given x is equal to u plus v and y is equal to u v something like that. Then obviously j calculation of j is a simple there because x y given in terms of u v. But right now u v given in terms of x y. So it is a reverse transformation given and because of that I calculated z dash and I use this property. This is one more important thing. This property you should remember j into j dash is equal to one that you are going to learn in detail in partial differentiation. In partial differentiation, once you learn the Jacobian, you will learn this property j into j dash is always one, and you got the value when you calculate j, you can get j dash. When you have j dash, you can get j because j is a reciprocal of j dash. So right now j dash is a minus three, so j should be minus one by three. Do it by any of the way. I am not saying this is only the correct way. You can calculate j also, but your answer should be same. You can't say that I am doing by different method and I got a different answer. Any doubt in getting the value of Jacobian j? No sir. No sir. Okay. So uh, this is the end of the step number one. Step number one, we got the value of a dx dy now. Yes, 150 says he got 1 by 9. Definitely, you made a silly mistake in calculation. Then you can post be, that calculation on my WhatsApp. Sir, it will be minus 3 by 9. Minus 3 by 9. If minus 3 by 9 means minus 1 by 3 only, na? Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Okay. So, uh, if someone got only 1 by 9, yes, you made a mistake then. So that is not correct. So I will tell you the final step here. Thus, dx dy we got. So one of the step we completed, dx dy as a minus 1 by 3. du dv so this is one of the thing we completed now i am going to give it i am going to give it these four vertices name so let's say i vert vertex a is a 10 uh, b as a 31 the vertex c as 2,2 and the vertex d as 0,1 so that uh, it is given they are the vertices of a parallelogram Okay, in X Y plane. So as these are the four vertices uh, of this parallelogram, so uh, let me find out the equation of their sides. So how to get the equation of A B? Yes, one fifty one. Sir, one five one. I am asking. One five one. How to get the equation of line A B? One fifty-eight. Yes, sir. How to get the equation of line A? Equation, equation of a line of passing through two points. Sir, two two point slope form. Yes. What is that? What is that? Form. Y uh, y minus y one. Okay. I will say this is x one y one. This is x two y two. So uh, therefore, A B is. I will write A B. A B is. Uh, okay. Y minus y one. Okay, so I will say zero upon yes. So y minus y one is equal to y two minus y one upon x two minus x one. Okay. Into into x minus x one. Okay, so that is also correct. So if you want that way, so I'll do that way. So y minus y one is equal to y two minus y one. So one minus zero upon X two minus x one, so this is three minus one into x minus x one. Is it? Yes, sir. So we got the first equation as three uh, y. This gives us three y. I'm past. No, it's not three y actually. It is two y. Is that? So three minus one is a two. It's a two y is equal to x minus one. Now we have to convert. Remember, this equation also we have to convert in UV domain. Excuse so me. Use sir. this equation and try sir? to yes. Sir, I have sir I have taken one co one sir one x and y coordinate like one and zero and 
I have put in x and y value. Which so it doesn't matter. Here. Equation of a line does not change if you assume okay. any point as x1, y1, and any as x2, y2. Okay. 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 okay so line equation never changes. So, sir, I got four equations. So, I sh should I plot that graph? No, we we don't have to plot the graph in x, y domain. Exactly. We need a graph in a u domain. Yes, sir, that that's what I'm saying. Yes, I that you have to plot it there. Correct. So, okay. Sir. So, uh, our aim is now to convert this equation of a b in a uv domain so i will ask uh, 149 yes what is that equation now uh yes sir sir it will be 2 into okay 2 into so i want in uv domain is it huh. yes sir yes sir i will i am telling that only 2 into okay, 2 into a bracket huh? uh u upon 3 why you are making this complicated you will observe this equation and you can see here can you observe one simple thing Observation is the mo most important. V is equal to 1, sir. Yes, that's one. You will observe if you take this 2. I am yes, also getting V equals to 1 only, but I have done okay, in okay, another done way. step by step. Okay, good. No yes, issue. sir. So, I, 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 but just X minus 2Y is a V, and this is X minus 2Y is 1. So, directly we say V is equal to 1. Okay. okay yeah, yeah, sir. That way is also correct. You are going step by step. That's good again. So, one of the one of the side of that parallelogram AB have the image as a V equal to 1. That's the first thing we finished. Similarly, we have to find out the image of a BC, we have to find the image of a CD and the image of a DA. Four lines are there and each of that line have some image in a UV domain. And because of this, this question never asked in the exam. Last 10 years, this question was not asked. But by chance, if it come, you should know what is the method. So, uh, this is one of the lengthy examples. Yes, you can skip it also because you have enough options available in the exam. So, if this question comes, yes, if your wish, you can skip it also. But right now, I will tell you, once we got AB, uh, now BC, we, we are going to find the equation of line BC. BC is, so again, if I use the same formula, y minus y1 is equal to x2 minus x, sorry, y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. So, I will ask the same thing, 171, 171, okay, 172, huh? tell me, uh, this is x1. Uh, so, y1. it's y minus 0 y minus y1 y minus uh, y1 will be 2 1 no nah. it is equals I, this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 okay so uh, ah, okay okay to, okay is equal to y2 minus y1 now uh it will be 2 minus hmm? no uh, uh, 2 my uh. 2 minus 1 by hmm, divided by um x2 minus x2 two, 2 minus uh 2 minus 3 correct into x minus x1 yeah 2 minus 3 x minus 3 oh, x minus three. okay so we got in the same fashion whatever we done it for ab now if we simplify this now this 2 minus 3 is a minus 1 okay 2 minus 3 is a minus 1 so i'll take minus 1 this side so it will become minus y plus 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 is equal to x minus 3. So, I will take this as uh, here actually you got that equation x minus 2y is 1 x minus 2y is 1 and because of that this equation goes there. So, here similarly you got x plus y first this y uh, is equal to 4 is it is it yes sir u equals to 4 then it u be. equal to 4 correct. So, second yes. image we got as a u as a 4. So just we got V is 1, we got U as a 4 as a second image of a BC. Any doubt up to here? No, sir. No, okay. So then I will start with the, we got A, B, B, C now, uh, C, D. C, D. Okay. Uh, now, C, D is. So let me use the same formula y minus y1 c d is there so who is the who can answer it quick 
Yes, sir. See, yes, sir. Okay, it would be y minus two. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay, one forty three. Let 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 I start with one forty three. Okay, sir. Hmm. Do it fast. Sir, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Sir, I'm still a little yes, bit. Sir, y, y minus y one. Yeah, y one is just one minute. One just a minute. What's the problem? Yeah. So I'm just still a little bit confused in this. Uh, in how we, how to form this equation like y minus zero. And that is a two line formula. Two two point formula. You have the two formulas. I will write it here. Suppose you have x one y one and x two y two as a two points. Then that formula is known as a slope point formula or two point formula. So you you are using the formula like y minus y one. Is equal to y okay, two okay, minus sir. y okay, one got it. Okay, upon got it. x two minus x one into x minus x one. Is that got it, sir? Got it. The sir. formula you learnt in the twelfth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Any doubt? One forty nine. Now you can start. Uh, yes, sir. Which one? Uh, CD. CD. Just one minute. Uh. I will erase it and then you can start. I uh, will directly substitute. Okay. Okay. Your choice. Just a minute. This is not erasing. Okay. Yes. Huh. Sir, it will be x minus two. X minus two upon two. Okay. Equals to y minus two hmm. upon one. Okay. Now he is using a different formula, like x minus x one upon x two minus x one equal to y minus y one upon y two minus y one. Both formulas are same. Okay. But little bit uh, terms are rearranged. So don't confuse again. So what is the simplified equation here? Simplify will be x minus two y equals to minus two. Okay, x minus two y is equal to minus two, and what is that equation then? Yeah, v equals to minus two. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I hope all of you got the same equation. This is the first equation we got. Yes, sir. V equal to one. Next, u equal to four. V is a minus two, and uh, I will say the last, uh, which is a d a or a d. A d is. You can take any point as x1, y1. Okay, it is not like uh, d should be the first point only. Okay, you you go by any of the way, your equation will remain same. Can I uh, can I get uh, the final image of AD directly in UV? Anyone? U equals to one, sir. U is equal to one. Thank you. Good. So all of you can check that it is very straightforward. Uh, simple points are there: one zero and zero one. So probably you got x plus y equal to one. That is u is equal to one. Then. Okay. So we got four lines here. Uh, u equal to one. Oh. U equal to four. V equal to one and v equal to minus two. Any doubt? Anyone here? Sir. Yes. Sir, I got four coordinates. Sir, v and u like. Sir, little v. louder actually. Sir, I got. Sir, I got four coordinates. Sir. Four coordinates. Yes, sir. Means which coordinate? Which coordinate? Sir, sir, I'm taking that uh, like two equations. I'm putting one comma zero in x and then y and solving it. I'm getting four points. So like one comma one, one comma four, minus two comma three, and minus two comma one in v and u form. I'm not getting. Actually, these are not point we are getting. We are getting the straight lines here. Sir, I'm sir, I'm sir, I'm sending you on WhatsApp. Okay, you send it to my, on my WhatsApp. I will check and I will tell you what is the. Okay, sir. Okay, I will get it. Okay. So, any doubt other than this? No. Just a minute. Just a minute. I think Wi-Fi. Can all of you able to hear me?
Okay. Uh, okay. Can all of you able to hear now? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. We can hear. Yes, okay. sir. So is is there a doubt now getting a dx dy value and four images there? Sir, so for ad I got u equals to two. Ad is equal to you got u equal to two. Yes, sir. Uh, is that to everyone or? No, sir. It's uh, u is equal to one only. I got u equal to one only. So yes, let sir. I show him because as he have the doubt, let I show show him how uh, that. Uh, calculation of ad will go so here is point a here is a point d we have like y minus uh, you can do it any of the way so like uh, this is if this is my x1 y1 this is x2 y2 so I'll say y minus y1 means y minus 0 I'll write it here again y minus 0 uh, is equal to <clears throat> y2 minus y1 so y2 minus y1 is 1 minus 0 upon x2 minus x1 so this one is there uh, into x minus x1. So you got uh, this is a minus 1. So this become minus y is equal to uh, x minus 1. So if I take that side and 1 on that side, you get x plus y equal to 1 and whatever that you got u equal to 1 only. So who got u equal to 2? That's not correct. Okay. Yes, sir, sorry. I got... okay, no issue. So uh, finally, what we are interested now, I, I'm uh, going to write the important steps here, uh, which we completed. So the first thing that we completed is the value of a dx dy. The value of a dx dy we got as a minus 1 by 3 du dv. That is a step number 1. Step 2, we uh, got the four images u equal to 1. Uh, tell me what is the other two uh, images? Sir, 4. U equal U, to 4? Yes, sir. And V is equal to 1 and uh, equal minus to 2. 1 and minus 2. Okay, thank you. So, that about uh, the 4 images and we have to plot these 4 images now. In the UV plane, we, we are not at all interested in XY domain region. So, we are interested only UV domain there. So, I will take this as my uh, V axis and this as a U axis. Suppose this is U axis and this one as a V axis. So, uh, let I start one by one. What is a U equal to 1? u equal to 1 line parallel to v axis to v. okay line parallel to v axis so say this is my line u equal to 1 next uh, u equal to 4 again parallel to v axis so somewhere here i will draw it u equal to 4 v equal to 1 okay parallel to u axis is that and v equal to minus 2 so minus 2 is little downward there so like v is equal to minus 2 so the region is in between them. So again, it is just, uh, I will say, that's like a square or the rectangle, whatever, depending on. So that about the region of integration. Uh, 151, 151. What will be the integral here? Or let I start one, 43, 147. Yes, sir. Yes, what is the double integral now? Transform double integral. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, what are your... What is x plus y? Yes, sir. Okay, 157 is correct answer, yeah. 167 167 sir i think you okay so you tell me entire double really integral u square u square into minus 1 by 3 minus j du dv see how much time all you are taking so you should have the past huh? 167 okay uh 157. What will be the limits? So the inner limits will be um, minus be, 2. 
and uh, if that uh, represent the density function density of that lamina it represents the mass of that solid so all that things are there okay so it it provided it have some integrand have meaning then whatever we done that have the meaning there any doubt anyone this is a solved example actually and this question have a very rare chance to come in the exam because it have too many things that first of all the equation in xy domain are not given directly so we need a uh, we need to find the equation and then we transform it and this is already a solved example i will show you you will observe the answer is written plus 21 okay uh, y plus 21 let we see it here so jacobian minus 1 by 3 but yes okay my mistake my mistake so the formula is there that is a magnitude of jacobian mod of jacobian, jacobian is positive no uh, no mod of ja jacobian is not necessary positive there is mod jacobian is written so the formula I, i should correct it for you and that formula i will write it here the formula for jacobian is that one so uh, the formula for dx dy i will correct it dx dy is mod of jacobian into du dv so this j is magnitude of jacobian you have to take it mod of jacobian that is my mistake sir yes yes sir and uh, some other diagram is like in b part can be correct pardon sir and that thing your voice is not clear actually 165 a little bit problem with your sir he is saying that he is typing as query okay so i am not uh, get, still got that query here in chat window sir how many choices are there to solve the questions oh, yes uh, just one minute uh, the uh, query from 165 is his diagram second diagram is there so i can take that method yes if you are able to draw this diagram uh, without uh, the transformation without uh, yes this diagram is important actually we require the diagram in uv domain this diagram is not required no need to draw it okay but yes this is uh, important that you should able to draw it and using that you get the limits of x and y sorry u and v yes uh, what is other doubt sir i was asking how many choices we have See, total i already told uh, there are total four units you have in uh, 
syllabus uh, like uh, uh, integral calculus, differential calculus, spherical trigonometry, and the last one is a complex number. Out of that, spherical trigonometry you can't keep as an option. Remember, there are multiple reasons because this spherical trigonometry you are going to use it in other subject later on number of times okay so your entire uh, probably one course depend on that spherical trigonometry so you have to do it so spherical trigonometry it's like a compulsory for you even though it is not compulsory in the exam so uh, in exam uh, you will get two questions on each topic so total there will be eight questions okay eight questions and uh, that is for 80 marks means uh, 10 marks each question 10 into 8 that is 80 marks and you have to attempt any five question any five out of that eight so that you get that 50 are you getting my point so yes, you sir. have three questions as option there means in in each question there are two sub questions so that is another thing because these questions are five marks there that you have so you can see the question paper that is a straightforward you can see the last year question paper you will get the idea Sir, in every subject we have choices, no? Yes, yes. In every subject you have the choices. So you should not worry. Okay. So there are choices are available there. Any doubt other than that? In class test, you don't have a choice. Okay, the class test, you don't have a choice there. Okay, so it's one of the lengthy examples that we've seen. And because of that, only this question never come in exam. One last question on UV domain. So here is the, I hope a few of you already completed. This is again a solved example of the book. So let us ask uh, 148, 148. Yes, sir. What will be the image of these three lines, x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x plus y equal to 1 under this transformation? Can you recall something we done today? Yes, sir. Uh, the triangle, sir. No, it is a triangle that is in XY domain, but I, I'm asking yes. what will be the image of that triangle in a UV domain? Image. I mean, sir, I'm not getting your point. Okay, this is the question that we done in the morning session. Yes, yes sir. And uh, 154 answered it correctly. That is a square in a UV domain. Because we see that x equal to 0 represent like u equal to 0, v equal to 1, y equal to 0 represent u0, v0, and x plus y equal to 1 represents u equal to 1. So all that calculation again you have to do it here also because it's a this is a solved example. Let I tell you tell you what the way we should proceed. Step number one, we should get that a dx dy dx dy and we already seen in the morning that is a u du dv or oh, u du dv so this you have to calculate okay calculate by jacobian by jacobian don't write it directly in the exam it is not like a standard value this is not a standard transformation so this is the first thing you have to do it second step yes you have to find out these images of each line that x equal to zero x equal to 0 gives us, uh, we seen in the morning only, u equal to 0 and v equal to 1. y equal to 0 gives us u0 and v0. I am writing it directly. You should come to know that. And x plus y equal to 1 uh, represent u, uh, u equal to 1. Is that 1? So all that things we seen in the morning session. And the region is a very straightforward. It's a bounded by four lines. Like uh, this is a... This is u axis, then v equal to 0, v axis, then u equal to 0, then it is a u equal to 1, and this is v equal to 1. And the region is in between them, and that is a square. It's like a square. So all these things we see in the morning, only the thing that is important now, the integral value, that is a double integral. So can you tell me what is the value of x, y into root of 1 minus x minus y? So if anyone knows the answer, raise your hand. Is 
Is there anyone who knows the answer? Yes, 158. Tell me. So 1 minus u. Uh, 1 minus u. So th th this is a square root. Yes, a square root oh. is 1 minus u. Good. But outside, oh. outside there is xy. Na? So what is the okay. value of x into y? What is the value of x into y? 162? Uh, yes. y into u square v minus u square okay. v square. Yes, already we know that x is u minus uv and y is a uv. So if you do all these things, you will observe this is uv in bracket u minus uv. So I will say uh, uv into u minus uv and limits are 0 to 1. 0 to 1. So, yes, u is coming common. So, this is a du dv. Is, sorry, that is a u du dv is again there. u du dv. I hope everything is clear. So, it's a double integral 0 to 1. You will observe how many u's are there. So, u is comes in common in the bracket here. 1, 2, 3. So, u cube into square root of 1 minus u and uh, v into 1 minus v dv so uh, this is the way we have to integrate or now what is the method to integrate this yes actually you are going to learn one important method and that is known as a beta function later on okay uh, right now i will tell you uh, keep this example as it is up to this step okay i, I will suggest you keep this integral as it is because one of the simple method you are going to learn to integrate this type of integral by a beta function. Okay, beta function you will learn after the triple integration and you will do this example just in one step by a beta function instead of doing a lengthy calculations. Okay, this is not so simple to evaluate. One of the way, yes, you have to convert in a trigonometric form. For example, you can replace u equal to sine square theta, u equal to sine square theta, 1 minus u become a cos square theta and you can get this integral 0 to 1 u cube root of 1 minus u. That is one of the way. Same thing you can do it here also. You can replace v by sin, uh, v by cos square theta or v by sin square phi, something like that and you can integrate. So in the textbook actually they done that way only. You, they replace uh, u by sin square theta and v by sin square phi like that. Okay. Uh, so better I will suggest you after a beta function you can do it or right now also you can do it with the help of that whatever the substitution I told you. You have to evaluate two separate double integral. I will write it here. I will write it here. One of the double integral is integral 0 to 1 uh, u cube into uh, root of 1 minus u du into Okay, because this function of u is a separate because the limits are constant. So I, I missed here du, actually du is there, into integration 0 to 1, v into 1 minus v dv. This is the this integral and this integral you have to evaluate separately. And you get the required answer. Any doubt? <laughs>